Well, I found out the other day, like, lately, that my video didn't record the sound. So when I uploaded it, it was nothing but silence. Disappointed, because I, that means I missed the whole day of um, having this video up, you know. And uh, a lot of times I count on being the first of getting something up, you know, so I can get better views on it. That's real disappointing, but I got to redo everything. But there's a plus to it. As soon as I was about to record this, the mailman came and I got something. So I can show that as an update. A quick update, nothing much really happening. Um, still some things about to come out. Um, next Mother's Word is really at. Um, not a lot really coming out that month, but you know, still got some things coming out I can show. Um, I don't know what's going on with Pat. Um, this Ultimate SNES um, book it was supposed to be shipped out this month. We're already into the 20th, you know. I assumed he would have some updates for us. More, you know, the last update was like May 11th or something, and um, you know, I got the ultimate NES. <sighs> and to me, I've, I've, I've got a few of these, you know, and um, I prefer Pat's over, you know, some of the others because there's at least four screenshots on the bottom, a big screenshot for the item itself on the and I like that compared to others who only got one screenshot, you know, I don't like that, you know, if I'm going to spend some money on a book, show me more than one screenshot, you know. <laughs> so, um, the Ultimate Super Nintendo is supposed to be uh, dropping, you know, um, this month, I'm waiting, you would think, Pat, you know, this is supposed to be a, a big drop for him, that he at least update, let us know what's taking place, what's going on, what day is this going to be shipped out, you know, all it just says is shipping out it. June, uh, when? No updates. I mean, uh, you've got podcasts, you're updating your Twitter daily, but you can't update us about your book? Where's the marketing at? <laughs> but I ain't gonna uh, rip too much, you know. It's gonna drop. I'm gonna be a happy camper when I get it. But boy, give us some more updates. <laughs> Alright, besides that, I think I got this like Tuesday. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this game forever. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Yes. And it's exactly how I expected it, you know. Um, it definitely gives out that cast, uh, Symphony of Night feel and all. Everything you wanted is like that, you know. And it's. It's a little sad part too. The sad part is how everybody tried to roast this man because they thought it was going to come out like Mighty Nine. Have more faith, you know. Uh, yes, it got delayed a few times, but I mean, it's expected, you know, with uh, what you're working with. You know, it's definitely nothing like uh, Mighty Nine. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Shimnu Three is also being delayed left and right, you know, but um. I prefer to be delayed. But I hated how people came at him with the first trailer and said, Oh, this, oh my god, it's trash, it looks horrible, oh, garbage. And the man's second trailer, he had to reply about it, you know, like, like, the trailer's epic how he came about it, you know. But it's sad that, you know, if you enjoy something of a person's thing, to give them, you know, the benefit of the doubt, see what happens more than just first impressions or, or passing judgment off the rip, you know. So he rectified it, you know, and um, basically, you know, as a game developer, you got to think. You start off uh, with a rough draft, you know, go through it, and from there, you got to go through the whole game, right? You just don't want to do a little small thing here and send detail it and saying keep going, you know, rough draft and detailing it. You do the whole thing as a whole rough draft, and then you put in the bells and whistles and I hate how people came at him like that, you know. But this is the game. If you did the Kickstarter, you got a nice, wonderful looking slip cover. I love that slip cover. You know, I wish I put in with the Kickstarter one. <laughs> but I, uh, when they said it was still going to come out, you know, I was like, okay. You know, um, 
It does feel like a bare bone, you know, there's nothing special, no reverse cover, nothing. Kind of make me wish I did get that slip cover. <laughs> but I'm not paying no $100 online for those people who try to make more money, you know, them little scalpers. I don't like that, but I'm impressed. I'm happy with it, you know. It took a while to get here, but it's here, and I, I'm enjoying it. Now, what did I get today? This also got delayed than the original drop, but now it's here. That's Night of the Creeps. Just the figurine right here, and this time uh, it's an exclusive figurine, I believe. Detective Ray Cameron. I said that right. If not, I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to get it off a little cold. Well, it's, it's nicely detailed, you know. I got a few of these uh, figurines now from them. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, when I say I got that cold. Nothing I'm I'm enjoying Shock Factory, Spring Factory doing. Not only have they added lugs for their poster, so you know you don't get it all bended up and all that. But they added a little sticker, so when you got these things cut, uh, build up, collect you ain't put on the walls yet. You know what's what. You ain't got to get a match marker, right? What's what? They got a little sticker now. I love that. that that's a great concept they did. <clears throat> Here it is itself with the main slip cover. Oh, man. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. And then they try to do something new. Instead of just having, you know, the extra slip cover loose, they, they put in a little baggie right here. That's the alternative slip cover. Usually what I do is I keep the main one, and then I use the reverse cover on the inside. And you know, it was probably the same thing as this. But, um, I like the secondary cover, you know, so it's awesome right there. I gotta make sure I put it up because, um, uh, my candy man had got messed up. I had to request a new slip cover for it. They were nice enough to do that for me. And, um... Uh, I had uh, one of the movies out and uh, kitties uh, walked on it and they put scratches on it and I didn't think it would be rare like that now, you know, that's um, House on Haunted Hill. The slipcover got some scratches. I was going to go online and find a replacement and it, it's, I don't think it was like obscure like that, you know I mean? I can't find one. I, instead, you got the whole thing, you know, uh, buy it for 40 or 45 where they, they put it up as now. I don't want to buy the whole thing, you know, I just want the slipcover. And you don't find that many of those, you know. I, I guess the I don't know what it is, but that's 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 something different. <laughs> um, they do pack this in with a lot of paper, you know. Um, I think it's kind of a waste of, of, of extra paper, but I, I mean I do recycle it. But they've come a long ways from securing your package, you know. So I'm I'm happy about that. Now we can get to the good stuff y'all been waiting for. I hate I had to redo it over, but I mean, at least I get to show some other things, right? Here's the IFC title that's supposed to be with the uh, Spring Factory. And this anti Burr. And I always enjoy IFC titles like, uh, they, they range from anywhere from great to good. Uh, I think there's only one that I really didn't like, but other than that, I've seen quite a few because IFC titles do come to um, Netflix, you know, so you can actually watch those if you be like, hmm. But IFC titles are really slept on. Most people get the main Screen Factory drops, you know, and then they sleep on the IFC titles. Most of them, well, some of them do come with slip covers, but I know for a fact Anti Birth doesn't come with a slip cover. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But I'm happy that the Horror Pack does put these IFC titles in, you know. That way I can edit it, you know, because I'm sleeping on these two. You know, I'll be watching it on Netflix and that's it. <laughs> Anti Birth is one I haven't watched, though. I have seen some of the other IFC titles, so I'm glad I can put that into the collection. And then we got uh, Baskin. I've, I've known about this. I don't have it. At least I don't think I do, you know. But um, I think this is the bare bones version, anyways. Still ain't bad. I can still add it to the collection. And we got Walden. I, I don't know nothing about this movie itself. So 
So it's always great to have a, a surprise movie, uh, see how it goes when you watch it. And it's based on a best-selling book and graphic novel, so definitely got to be up to it, right? Definitely look forward to that. And then, the, like always, the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. Most of the times, I've never seen it, never known nothing about it. These are like, you know, the obscure movies they uh, bring over. I think only one, you know, that was supposed to be like a big thing with the sisters, you know. That, uh, but other than that, I've never seen a lot of these, you know. And this is Life Changer. I really enjoyed the cover. You know, it's like a butterfly, a fairy type. I, I like I like the cover, you know, I really do. <laughs> and, um, yeah. There's four more movies to add to the collection and a lot of times I don't have these you know and so I don't really complain much about the horror pack at all you know um I'm always happy to get this I always look forward to this every month you know I wish they would include a room magazine with it but it is what it is let me know how you feel you know did you like what you got or do you feel let down please leave some comments some likes and definitely hit the subscribe but I can use the subscribers my cats are in the room right now. You can't see them, but they're looking around. Enjoy.